Hello everyone, I am here to show you guys a very easy, amazing recipe. It is keto, it's like the healthy version of burgers, and it's Omar's favorite thing to eat that I make here. So this is what um, seasonings I use for the ground beef. I use the Caveman Barbecue Seasoning from Mom K Foods. Use code AVERY20 for a discount on the seasoning. Um, and I'm also using Exotic Steak from Mom K Foods. And again, um, AVERY20 for a discount on that. So I'm actually going to put a good amount in here. So this is steak seasoning, you know, since it's beef, it actually goes really good together. And then barbecue, it really gives it that good taste when, when it's cooked in a burger. All right. Take my wedding ring off and I'm going to get down in there. Let's make sure it's all incorporated and mixed in. And I just eye how much seasoning I want. Um, I would say I probably use maybe half a tablespoon of both. both my cat is super hungry. Sorry, I guess I want to make him a burger too. And I'm maybe I'm going to just put a little bit more in. So you can skip this part if you don't like mushrooms or onions. But I do like to saute some cut up mushrooms and then some cut up onions. And then I put them on my burger. I think it gives it a little bit of texture. It's super good. All right. I'm gonna add my mushrooms and onions. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper. And I do have some olive oil in there. All right. So it's a little bit of salt. And I put my hand there just in case it comes out too quick. And I do like black pepper. So we have some fresh cracked black pepper. We'll just mix that around. All right. And then we're just gonna let that sit and let that cook, cook down. I actually forgot I had this. Oh, the broiler's ready. All right, so these are gonna make perfect patties. Press it and then <laughs> not as easy as I thought, but that's fine. All right, perfect size. So I use my burger press to make these perfect patties, and this is about the size. They're not too big, but it's fine. I do want that crust on there. I do not want it cooked all the way through because I am going to put it in the oven under the broiler when the cheese for the cheese to cook, and it does cook the inside. So now this is about done, and I'm going to add it over here. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil and add my next patty. All right, so the mushroom and the onion is ready. I'm gonna take it off the heat and just wait until the patties are ready. So I have them ready and they are going to go in the oven under broil. And I'm gonna add my mushroom and onion mixture on top. Yes, they're not cooked all the way because the oven is going to do that. Okay. So it's at such a high heat, it's gonna go quick, so you need to make sure it doesn't burn. All right, so here's the cheese on top, and they are going in the oven under a broil. And for our side, we have a salad, which is lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, feta cheese, some queen's dressing seasoning, I'm gonna add some salt. Um, so feta, we have uh, shredded almonds and some pomegranate seeds with some olive oil and uh, lemon juice. We're just gonna zest a little bit of lemon on top. It goes pretty, and Voila, it doesn't look as pretty tossed, but it's okay. All right, and these burgers are crisp and ready. Only after about five minutes. Perfecto. Thank you. This is the second burger. I can indeed. Um, so awesome. <laughs> I can confirm it is very good and he loves it. So that's good.